Oh, hello then, my live lovelies. So, Jay Diction sent me this ages ago, and uh, huge apologies to Jay Diction. They've been so, so patient with me. Uh, I just get distracted by shiny things, what can I say? And I was just going to get on with it, and then I thought, oh, that's a bit different, isn't it? So, this is the pack, and this is what you get. Blimey, so you actually get, that is really interesting to me anyway, because you get two two UV resins of 100 grams in the pack, which I think is genius because with UV resin, you've got to be so careful about, you know, it's really easy to expose it to light so this way you minimize the risk so i i think that's a brilliant brilliant design anyway and then presumably you unscrew this and you put this on okay so let's get cracking with that hey now i've been uh playing with polymer clay you may have seen a previous video and um, yes, so I'm not going to point this towards the window because, do you know what? I'm going to put my mask on. I'm going to go and put my mask on and switch to voiceover. So I'm switching to voiceover and um, just removing the little silver, uh, the little seal on the top, literally screwing the top on. And this is a silicone like trivet thing that I got from I think it was like something like Robert Dias or something like a bit of a magpie with silicone things because I or in fact anything to do with resin really I just go into charity shops and I think can I pour in it on it round it can I make a mold from it <laughs> yeah that's just how my brain works I'm afraid uh totally obsessed um so as you can see i'm picking some pieces out from the polymer clay tutorial that i did if you haven't seen that um check out my first time dealing with um, using polymer clay with the lovely uh, Teresa ferraby in my last visit video it's video 182 i think i'll try and link it so this is the selection of um of beauties that i have to top coat and um this is the secret to top coating in my view um, and that is tiny tools that really is the secret so you can see here i've put a little bit of the resin on top and i thought i would show you here using the actual bottle of uv resin you can see that even though the nozzle looks massive <laughs> you're actually able to um really strategically put it where you want it and these are tiny little studs you can, i mean you can see the size of them in comparison to the toothpick um, and what i'm trying to do is just tease it to the edge of the piece and hopefully not go over the edge um, obviously I can see that there are a few areas where I haven't moved it all the way to the edge, um, but I was trying to film at the same time in my defense, your honor. <laughs> um, the reason why you don't want to go over the edge is that then you have to get into the realms of sanding. And in my view, the finished piece never looks quite as good when you've had to muck around with it. It's it's better to try and um, get it right first time if you can, as it does look a lot more professional. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at myself there because, um, you know, as you know, this is a very amateur production. Um, but I am learning as I go along. Um, so these are the beautiful little studs that I produced. And I am so pleased with this piece in particular. I think the neon pink and the uh, navy blue and silver just well, just really pops against against it. So I was thinking about making that into a pendant. 
when I can figure out findings. I think I need Teresa to come over again and help me with that. Um, these are my tiny little uh, Christmas trees, which I thought I'd make into earrings. Um, so I created these by rolling out some navy blue polymer clay and then putting a sheet of silver not silver foil i keep on saying silver don't use silver foil it's <laughs> silver leaf you know the really really super super thin stuff um and then just rolling it on and you can either use a um, pasta making machine and then or you can use an acrylic roller and then I put it on for 30 seconds using my lamp and I'm just testing it now. And you can see it's pretty much cured because they ping off in all, all directions, never to be seen in my craft room again, but they're not quite cured. So I do put them back in for another 30 seconds. So I know with this particular set, uh, this particular UV resin that it needs a minute. So I put this piece on a silicon mould on a mirror to see if I could reflect the, the, the rays back up into the product as well, which helps it to cure. And again, that goes on for a minute. I have to say I would always use a super strong uh, lamp. None of this 36 watt malarkey. I think this particular lamp is 168 watts, but well impressed with J-Diction. Look at that. And it's completely cured beautiful just look at that shine beautiful thank you so much j diction gorgeous result very impressed so in summary my three top tips are tiny tools using a mirror to reflect the uv rays back into the product and finally do not skimp on the lamp use a strong one thank you so much for joining me as always bye